So there's a coordination meeting today. I don't know if we'll necessarily catch it, uh, but it's based on a little bit of the layout that we've got out here. Isn't really jiving with any of the numbers that we have corresponding with the prints and the overlays of the mechanicals. So we're gonna have to talk a little bit about what's, what works and what doesn't because sometimes it's concepts like walls have to line up for hallways or it's push this because of this is where they ran the electric or they ran the plumbing. Um, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of coordination between the subs here. Uh, and then we're actually gonna start framing tomorrow the exterior walls because HVAC still has to get done and we're gonna start hanging wires for the ceiling because it, the, it's 34 foot to the deck. So if we do it when we have our framing, we won't be able to get to the deck or it'll be hard and we'll knock out walls or knock out drywall or something like that. So it's better to always get your wires done first. So that, way, that way it's out of the way. Oh, we got a block wall. Hey, Dave. Hey, did you, did you yell at the brickies for doing a fucking shitty ass job out there? I, it, well, halfway, yeah. I came in here and I said, wow, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. Good. nice, right? So he goes, yeah. And then like an hour later, he's out there doing that one. And I said, you're the same guy that built all these half walls? Yeah. He goes, yeah. And I said, Why, why'd you fuck up all the outside ones and the inside one looks really good? Yeah. Well, nobody told me what was going on out here. I said, it shouldn't matter. I said, dude, it's in and out, up and down, nothing is yeah. even close. I said, I gotta grind off the one end. Yeah. Well, if somebody would have told me. It doesn't fucking matter. Exactly. I'm not gonna build a fucking wall out of square and be like, well, you know, somebody has to paint it. Yep. See, now because of the rail, we had to move this half a piece over there. Oh, for a cut? To hold it tight. Really? We're cutting a little bit. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Shame. Why couldn't we figure out the number backwards and turn it sideways the other way? So you're cutting down the little part. Well, if you want to find it out backwards, you can. I mean, you can see either whatever works. Is this finished on both sides? Wouldn't it be better? Yeah. Don't you think but this is red and this is brown. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. There's only like six of them like this, the rest of them are black on the side. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Wouldn't it be better, don't you think? You want? Or you just don't want to do the mat. No, it has the grip here too. So like it doesn't move too much. It doesn't move. Like, yeah. I'm saying even without these. Oh. Like oh. even without these, it's got a nice like a felt grip on the bottom. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. A felt. What's that? A felt. No, it's got like a felt grip on the on these side tracks. Yeah, yeah. We're doing the panels that are outside and I bought this track system because I thought it would help these guys move along a little bit quicker. And so what this does is this keeps a straight edge for us and these actually lock down this track saw that they can run on this and it gets a nice straight cut because this is actually milled uh, to be as straight as possible as opposed to doing a freehand cut where you might have a little bit of wiggle room in there. Yeah, that's nice that that doesn't split or anything. Yeah. No, that feels like a nice cut too. So that factory cut's important because this is actually an exposed seam. So when these guys put on this piece, which I think is the next piece that they're actually working on, you'll see this cut all the way down and then you'll see that corner cut in here as well. So it'll be a nice clean corner once they're finished. This is, this is how this is gonna look with that reveal of 3 8 in the center there. So that's a little bit more red, is it? I can't even. I can't even see that. I. Yeah, I mean, I guess down. a little. It's oh, alive. you're talking about yeah. You'll see this. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Oh, that's where you can use that shorter one. The shorter track. How does that work? What are you talking about? Yeah, that one should be fine, right? I think. I think you can. Well, I think that. I don't even know what that is. But anyway. This is where the blade goes on. Correct, side. yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is, is that like, that, well. Yeah, I think that, I think that this has to be taken off. But yeah, it can be for angles. So there's, there's like, you know, your 60, 60. Yeah. So there's your, 
That's the one it comes with. Yeah. That's the yeah. That's the one it comes with because it's the smaller saw. But it actually like locks in here. No, that's fine. I I just didn't know if this. I haven't fi I haven't figured out how to use this one yet. On the, on these fest tools, they have a little bit of different uh, plugs at the end. So these these two actually match because this one's got like a little prong at the top. But my sander doesn't. And what happened was the guys actually got these mixed up. So I had to make sure that we got all these corrected. What's up, homeboy? <laughs> Absolutely, man. You wanna be on here? So you wanna be on here? Why? <laughs> got him. Uh, Bro, you're always the life of the party, man. What's up, homie? What's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Oh, I'm good. No, I was looking for those studs. I was like, where the f are these studs? But we got them. Crank it now, huh? Trying to. Yeah, oh, dude, I hope we bury everybody. You're gonna. Me too. Mm -hmm. That's. But I guess the uh, I guess the electrician was, Dave said he was uh, not happy because his schedule didn't get pushed, even though everybody else has got pushed. Everybody else, everybody else got six days. We got six days. After, after you guys are done. Six days as well. He's got, well, the other electrician got six days too. I'm like, dude. That's we'll, what I'm saying. We'll jump and we'll help you. I mean, that's like near impossibility. You're, hey, you're lucky. I was just about to come yell at you. What? Why would that have been? Safety glasses. Yup, but then I saw him right there. I know, I know. I saw him and I was like, hey, why isn't Kyle wearing them? have another pair right here. All right, you better, you better have, yeah. You better have double protection on your eyes. That's fine, that's fine. No, that's the only reason I came over here, just to yell at you. I have them, trust me, I have them. So that's Jose and Luis, right? Yeah. Okay, so you brought them inside. I don't okay. really need them anymore. That's what I'm getting at. You could have them somewhere else tomorrow. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six guys here. Right. So um, that's what I'd like okay. for the continuation. Um, we're done framing. Yeah. So these panels have taken a little bit longer than we thought they were going to. Um, it's... December, end of December, so it's a bit cold. So we've had some cold days where the guys have had to pull in and out here and there. Uh, so they've taken a little bit longer than we've thought. Uh, but you can kind of see the finished product, how we've got a 3 8 gap around, around each edge and in between the panels. We've got a definite screw pattern here as well, but they're really starting to come into their own. We had a little bit of trouble with the block being in and out and back and forth a little bit, so we had to shim a lot of these to get a control joint all the way across them. Uh, but what the guys are finishing up now is the beam up top is a little bit twisted, so we're having to cut it a little bit bigger so that you don't see this gap here as much when it's out of skew and we're, we're not having to go out of skew with our cuts, so we're cutting it a little bit bigger so that it's just, it's just a nice plum cut. This is what we took with the Fest tool, and as you can see, it's almost, it's almost like a factory cut on all square edges once we come around here. So that was the whole design, that was the whole concept, and we were able to pull it off. So it's gonna be a really, really nice exterior for the Grand Appliance here.